we're back. Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you're enjoying our videos on YouTube. Uh, so just we start, I know many of you are going back to school this week. So welcome back to school, yeah? So enjoy, make sure you are respecting the social distancing, remember two meters away, and follow all the instructions that your teachers have for you, yes? So a big shout out to people in Temple Oak. Hello everybody in Temple Oak, how are you? Big shout out to people in Knock Lion. Hello everybody in Knock Lion, how are you today? And people in Alex College in Milltown. Hello people in Milltown, how are you today? In Wesley College as well, hello, how are you? In Green Hill, so all the venues there, hello to everyone. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of handstand workshop, okay? I'll try to be really concise in this video. I'll try to be as best as possible for you on this one and be very helpful. So just before we start, I always have to remind you, first, make sure you have enough space. For this one today, we need a good space where we can kick our legs up or drive our legs up, okay? Or walking up the wall because we're going to have some exercise that we might use. A couch, like I have one here, and sometimes just a wall, like I have something here for me to use. So make sure you have enough space around you, okay? If you don't have a couch or a wall that you can use, just follow the instructions and you do the more easy or more preparation for the handstands and when you have a space you can use those other preps and skills. Is that okay? So again, make sure you have enough space, make sure you have a soft spot for you to start your exercises and also make sure that you have an adult there with you at all time. Yeah? I have to remind you that it's really, really important that you follow all the instructions so nobody gets hurt. Is that okay? Yes? So like I said before, we're going to be doing a handstand workshop. It means that we're going to be working on our shoulders a lot, our chest, our upper body, our arms. So you need to be very careful when you're doing this because we're going to be going in the upside down position. Is that okay? So like we always do, we're going to start with a warm up, then we're going to do some preps, and I'm going to show you some ways to improve your handstands. Could I believe that? Ah, I also always have water close to you, so anytime you need a break, you go get a sip of water. Is that all right? So let's start with our warm up. So, as always, we're gonna start running on the spot and we're gonna be challenging you to do some stuff. Kulebuda? So, let's go start running on the spot. Remember, it's really important that you keep your chest up and looking forward. Yes? So, this time we're going to do a sprint, like five seconds sprint, and go back to jogging. Is that okay? So, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, and five. And go back to jogging. This time you're gonna to try to sprint, but bring your knees up as high as you can for five seconds. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good, keep jogging. This time I want you to do like sprint forward and go back slowly. Okay, are you ready? So go a little bit backwards. Three, two, one, sprint forward really fast. And just jogging back. One more time. Three, two, one, spring forward, little, little fast, and go back. Very good. Let's do some jumping jacks, just five, because we're going to be focusing on the up strength this time. So let's go. One, two, three, four, and five. Very good. It's really important that we get our arms, our shoulders, our upper body ready to do our handstands. So start swinging your arms forward, make big circles as high as you can, very good, and backwards, excellent, can you do one forward, one backward like this, very nice, and swap around to the other side, excellent, now on your shoulders, make circles backwards, and forwards, go up and down, very good. Now I want you to cross your arms like this, your body, and we're going to go up and down and say, yes, 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 Lucas is the best. Do you think I'm the best? Or maybe you can go like side to side and say, no, 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 Lucas is not the best. You might go like this as well. So shrug your shoulders up and say, is Lucas the best? I don't know. Is Lucas the best one? I don't know. So just go up and down. Very, very, very good. Put your arms out. You're gonna make small circles with your arms. Remember, this is all for our shoulders. We need to warm it up and make sure we are ready to do our 
handstands or preps for handstands. Then to the other side. And go forwards and backwards, crisscross. Very, very good. Put your hands together. We're going to make a ball. So make sure you really try to stretch those wrists. And we're going to make a wave. Try to do to one side. Then you go to the other side. Yeah. Excellent. Put your hands together. And you're going to try to chop, chop, chop. So hands forwards and backwards. Try to keep our elbows up, okay? Don't let they come down like this. So elbows up and up and down. Very good. And shake, shake, shake. Excellent. Hands on your hips. Go side to side. Then make circles to one side. And make circles to the other side. Very good. Now side to side again. And one more time, around in a circle. Very, very good. We won't need our legs that much to do strengths, but we need them to get warmed up, okay? So just give a big kick forward. Very good. Keep kicking. Excellent. Legs together, arms up. You can trick people on saying that you can do an upside down handstand or reverse handstand. Let me just stand like this. Let's see if they can get it. Because this is a handstand upside down, if that makes sense. All right, now we're gonna try to touch our toes and go back up. We're gonna do that three times, let's go. One, and up, try to keep our legs straight. Two, and up, and three, and up. Now, this is very important because we're gonna stretch our wrists a bit more. So kneel down, just go on your knees, yeah. You're gonna try to flat your hands down the floor, like this, pointing your fingers forwards. And you're gonna rock forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards. Yeah, let's do this three more times. One, every time you go forward, they say a number two, then three. Now you're gonna put your hands to the side, like this, yeah, like a butterfly. And we're gonna put the hands down, and this time you're gonna go side to side. It's really important that you try to keep your arms straight, okay? So don't bend your arms, keep them straight, and you go side to side. That's important shape that you need to understand, because when you go upside down, you need to keep those arms straight, yeah? Now, instead of a butterfly, we're gonna try to turn them in, facing each other like this, hands down, and keep going side to side. Same thing, straight arms, and rock side to side. Excellent. Now you're going to try to turn your hands like this, so your fingers should be pointing down, and they're going to go towards your knees, and you go rock forwards and backwards. One more time. You see the arms, straight arms. Excellent. And flat hands. All right. Very, very, very good. Now you need to be very, very smart on this one. You need to be, you need to be very kind with yourself. You're going to put your hands down like this. So this part of our hand is going to go on the floor. So both hands, you're going to touch your fingers to your knees like this. And you're going to rest your hands down there. Straight arms. If you bend your arms like this, you're not stretching enough. So straight arms. If this is too easy and you're touching your knee, move your hands out. But keep your arms straight. There's no point for you to move your hands out and lose your shape. So no, keep the shape. Look forward. Straight arms. If that's too hard, just move our hands back in. Yeah? So give it a big shake again. Very good. One more time to the ball. And the wave. And shake, 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 shake. Very good. Now, a few tips before we start our handstand work. Uh, see my clothes? I took my top in because I don't want this falling on my face when I'm upside down. Yeah? So make sure if you are in like a jumper or anything like this, that it's really loose. You get rid of that, just wear a nice t-shirt or something comfortable that you can tuck in. Cool? Very good. Again, make sure you have enough space around you. I don't want to see you kicking any furniture or anybody that is around you. So make sure that before you bring your legs up, when you go in an upside down position, that you have enough space. Yeah? So we're gonna go from the basics 
to the hardest one. Uh, the idea here is that you progress in your own time, so you can revisit this uh, video, this live session, anytime you want. So once you get one step, you can move to the next step, and so on. If the ex first exercises are too easy for you, probably the last ones will be the right for you to do, all right? The idea is that we build up on our handstands, okay? So the first shape we're going to do is the basic shape called bunny hops. Why we do that? To make sure we have our arms straight, hands flat, and we are driving our heels upwards, okay? So if you've done one of the, on my classes on YouTube, you know that the bunny hops, you need to start by crouching down, straight arms, hands in front, and you give a little kick up and down. Is that okay? So here we're gonna work on the high bunny hop. It's really important that you try to keep your balance, and we're gonna try to kick up three times on your uh, bunny hops, okay? High bunny hop. So I'll show you. This is a low bunny hop, you just take your heels off the ground. This is a medium bunny hop, you go a little bit higher, but we're working on handstand, so we need a higher bunny hop. So put your hands down like this, and you're gonna try to do high bunny hop and come down. Two more times, let's see. High bunny hop and come down. Again, straight arms, try to look directly down towards the floor and hands flat. Ready? And last high bunny hop and come down. This is just to get us warming up. So it's easier for us to do a handstand when you're in a static position, okay? And we're gonna work on that first, then we're gonna build up, like I said, to more harder uh, skills. So remember the couch? If you have a couch or something that you can put your uh, feet on the top, that's the time that you need to get there, all right? I'm just gonna get some water so you have time to go and see a good space for you, a safe space for you, to do the next exercise. We're gonna to try to do a normal handstand, actually a prep for a handstand with our feet on the top, and we're gonna build up from there, okay? So go there, find your space, make sure you're safe, and we go back. Ready? Cool. I'm gonna be using this part here, yeah? So my idea here is that we put our hands down the floor, keeping our arms straight, hands flat, and feet on top. I just want to do this for now. So let's try to do it. Hands on the floor, okay, and feet on top. That's it. Now, for you to improve your shapes, try to look in and keep your head in between your arms. Yeah? Now step down. Easy peasy lemon squeeze, like they say. This time, we're gonna go on that shape and you're gonna try to walk towards the couch or towards the place that you have your feet on. Yeah? and try to get on a straight shape as much as possible. So, hands down, my feet are there. Now I'm gonna try to walk my hands in and head in between my arms. And walk my hands out, okay? Step down. Again, here, we're looking to get our hands straight, head in, and engage our shoulders to hold your balance, all right? It's also really important that you try to tuck your belly in, so this will get you in a better shape and will help with your balance. So one more time, flat hands, straight arms, down the floor, okay? Get a shape, this is called front support, but with our feet up, so walk our legs, walk our hands in, head in, and hold for three, two, and one. Very good. We're going to be on our wrists a lot. So every time we finish a step, we shake our wrists, we give it a big stretch. So do the little ball and shake, shake, shake and do the waves just to make sure you won't get hurt, okay? If at any time you feel that your wrists are sore, you stop immediately, okay? And you watch, then when you're ready, you come back and do it. Cool? So next time, what you're gonna try to do, we're going to use the couch, hands on the floor. We're gonna try to bring one leg up, yeah? So we're gonna keep one foot on the, on the couch the other one go up. Same shape, hands down, straight arms, flat hands, one foot on the couch, the other one go up. But of course, we start, hands down, both feet on couch, let me look a little bit forward, and here, head in, walk in, try to bring one leg up, and hold, one, two, and three. Come down slowly, and safe. Now, if you saw that, I tried to point my toes. You know why? Because that's gonna help you when you go to kick your legs up to handstand to keep your balance, okay? 
So I did with my right leg, now I'm going to do with my left leg. Hula Bula, straight arms, hands flat, head in, one leg up. So go on the couch, hands down, walk our hands in, head in. Now my left leg go up, point your toe and hold. One, two and three. Come down and swap our leg, hold. One, two, three. And come down. Okay, so that's one of the static shapes you can do at home. Yeah? Now I'm gonna do a dynamic shape. So we're gonna try to do scorpion kicks. And after that, we're gonna try to do a wall. Is that okay? Simple stuff. Water break, just go there, get a sip of water. Not too much, otherwise, you're gonna get stitches. Remember, your safety points are straight arms. Flat hands, head in between your arms and engage your core. Make sure you're tight, belly, your belly in. And let's go to the next one. So, scorpion kicks. Scorpion kicks is like a baby handstand for some people, but the idea is that you try to do like a small shape for the handstand. So, you're gonna start on a standing position, you're gonna start with your arms up. Then we're gonna do a step forward. We're gonna put our hands down and kick our legs up. Before we do an actual scorpion kick, we're gonna try to do a needle kick, okay? So a needle kick, we're gonna keep one foot on the ground, the other foot go up. So again, start in a nice straight position. Arms up, step forward, hands down, leg up. It's basically the same shape we did, but now we're doing in a more dynamic way, all right? I'm gonna do this sideways so you can see. So hands down, let me see if I have enough space around me. Hands down, start. Arms up, big lunge forward. Hands down to the floor. One leg go up as high as you can. And come back down as your arms go up, okay? I did with my left leg in front. Now I'm gonna try to do with my right leg in front. Then you can see and feel for yourself which way it's better for you, okay? Because some people like putting their legs, uh, uh, the left leg in front. Some people like their right leg in front. Cool? So my right leg will go forward this time. Arms up, big step, hands down, leg up. And go back with your arms up. This feels a little bit weird for me. I kind of lost my balance halfway through, but I'm gonna try to do it again. Arms up, and big step, hands down, leg up and down so that is called needle kick okay so if you're not sure if you're able to control yourself as your leg go up try to do this one next one we're going to do is called scorpion kick the difference between the needle kick and the scorpion kick is that both legs go up but one go really high and the other one go really low okay but you need to take both feet off the ground yeah so i'm going to do one facing forwards the other one sideways so you can see it. Cool? Are you ready? Make sure you have enough space because now you're going to be kicking your legs up. So we start in the same position, arms up, and one step forward, lunge, hands down, kick our legs up and down. Did you see that this leg, my right leg, went all the way up? When you have the, your leg up in the sky, try to point your toe. Okay, so I'll do it again facing forward. Arms up, legs together, big lunge, hands down, point your toe, come back down and finish nice and straight. Cool? I'll try with my right leg in front, then I'm gonna do it sideways so you can see. So, legs together, arms up, lunge, hands down, up and down. It feels weird for me because I prefer my left leg in front, but I'm gonna try to do that again. Arms up, and step, lunge, hands, kick, and down. Engage your core, go back to your nice position. Okay, now I'm gonna try to do it sideways. Let me see if I have enough space here. I think I do. Legs together, arms up, lunge, hands down, up, and down. I'll do it again, start, legs together, arms up, step, lunge, hands, up, and down, okay? Then go back. It's really important that you go one leg, then the other one. 
You have more control when you do that. That's the right way to do a handstand. We have some different ways to challenge ourselves to do a handstand that are harder and you won't be covering that much in this uh, session. But I'll give you some tips afterwards on Instagram. Actually, just using this time. Remember, we are on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. I'm planning to do some lives simultaneously on YouTube and Instagram. I'll see how that works out. But today, after this session, I'm just gonna get changed and we're gonna have like a, a little Q&A session on Instagram. So go there, Olympian Gymnastics, try to follow us on Instagram and I'll be live answering your questions and even trying to do some handstands for you if I can, okay? So again, shake our arms, wrists are really important, make a ball, make a wave, all right? So we're gonna try to do three scorpion kicks. Remember, start in a nice position, go forward, go backwards, finish, do it two more times, then I'm gonna show you how to do it against the wall, okay? So let's go, legs together, nice posture, shoulders back, arms up, engage our core, and three, two, one, lunge, hands down, and down. Up, oh, I went a little bit too high, I almost fell forward. So what I need to do, the leg that it's lower, I need to keep it lower, okay? So that just that's just some tips that you need to use to think about your movements. So every time you do it at home, make sure that you're safe. I'll try to do that again in a more controlled way. Again, legs together, engage your core, chin up, Shoulders back, arms up. Step forward, one leg go really high, the other one a bit lower. Up, I lost again my balance, so I'm gonna go a bit lower this time. Arms up and go up, down, so that's the right way for me. Nice and straight, so I got my balance, I got everything I wanted, and I could do that in a safe way, okay? Now, against the wall. The first one is gonna be a static movement, actually static, shape where we're gonna walk our legs up that is also easy it's just the next step from the couch you can go to the wall okay so again make sure you have enough space around you all right if you have some uh, cushions or some mats that you can put in case you fall that's better all right so again make sure you can go on your hands without falling forward if you can't do that if you feel like you're not able to do that yes work on the couch, like I did before, and you're gonna work all the way to your handstand, okay? So this time, the wall is behind me, I'm gonna be facing to the other side, I'm gonna cross down, put my hands, keep my arms straight, then walk my legs up slowly. So the first we're gonna do, we're just gonna stop halfway through and try to do what we call L-shaped handstand, okay? Actually, for me, I think it's a bit harder than the normal one because I'm used to the normal one, but let's try it. So, we're gonna crouch down, make sure you have enough space, hands down on the floor, and you're gonna walk your legs up, slowly, yeah? Walk your hands in, and try to get on a nice shape, like L upside down, yeah? Then step down, and finish. Cool? You understand that? All right, so hands down, straight arms, flat hands, walk our legs up. This time, I'm gonna try to go up a bit higher. All right, so straight arms, engage our core. This time, I'm gonna try to hold for five seconds and try to go on a more straight position, all right? So go as high as you can with control. So let's go, close to the wall, hands down, walk my legs all the way up as high as I can, walk my hands in if I can, head in between your arms, engage your core, and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Walk slowly down, and take a break. Hands, probably my head, my face is really red, because you're in an upside down position, so all your blood comes down. A water break. So at this point, your shoulders, you can feel it like warmer, your arms probably warmer as well, and even your core, because you really need to engage your core on this one. So this time what we're gonna try to do is 
kicking your legs up against the wall. So remember the scorpion kick we did? Now we're gonna try to bring both legs up. Careful, really, really careful. You need to be careful on this one. You need to have enough space for you to kick forwards and backwards. In case you're coming back, try to land on your feet, not on your knees, okay? If you have a soft mat, a safety mat, a carpet that can help you with that, put that close to you, all right? And again, make sure you have no pets around you, no one around you that would kind of be on your way. And if you're not able to do it, if you're not able to do your scorpion kick properly, with good balance, holding yourself, don't try to do this. All right? So now, I'll be facing forwards. I think I have enough space. Uh, we're gonna put our arms up. Remember, lunge, hands down, kick our legs up. So, legs together. Three, two, one, lunge, hands down, kick and hold. Straight arms, try to point your toes and hold. One, two, three, four, and five. Then one leg comes down first, then the second one, and arms up and finish. Yeah? Easy peasy, hard. So that's the idea for you to work on your handstand up against the wall. Make sure you don't kick your legs up too hard. You might hurt your heels, all right? So you need to be able to control your legs all the way up and all the way down. Engage your core, straight arms, flat hands, head in between your arms. Those are the considerations you need to have in mind before you do it, okay? If you're not ready, I will tell that again, again, and again. If you're not ready to do this one, build up from the first ones we did. Bunny hops on the couch, then you do a needle kick, a scorpion kick, then you try to walk your legs up against the wall, then you kick your legs up against the wall, okay? Again, I don't want anybody to get hurt at home. This is a home gym, so you need to make sure that you have enough space and you're following the instructions. Feel that good? So I'm gonna do that again, and I'm gonna try this time to keep my feet off the wall just a little bit, one foot actually, sorry, one foot. I'll hold for three seconds, then I swap my legs, and I hold for three more seconds. So we're gonna do the same thing, kicking our legs up against the wall, one leg will come out of the wall, Go back, then the other one come up and go back. Yeah, you think we can do that? Again, make sure you're in the right position. Nice space, arms up, legs by, uh, together. One big lunge forward, hands down and go up. Now, one leg comes out of the wall and hold one, two, three. Engage your core, then the other one, one, two, three and down, and arms up, and finish. Cool? It's really important that you go down on your feet and you finish. You need to be able to do that. If you can't do that, if you can't hold yourself when you're coming down, you might get hurt. So it means that you're not ready to do that one. Cool? Now, this time, what I'm gonna try to do, I'm not sure if I'm able to do that, it's been a long time, but I'm gonna try to keep my legs up and bring both feet off the wall. Okay, but again, I need to be able to hold myself. I trust, I know how to do it, so that's why I'm gonna try to do it. So this is for the more advanced people who have done gymnastics before or who are working on their handstands, like their free handstands with nobody helping them. So this is gonna help you to get a uh, holding handstand, okay? So I'm gonna try to hold my handstand up against the wall, bring both feet back and try to hold in a nice and straight position. Arms up again, three, two, one, big lunge. Hands down up against the wall, go up, I couldn't hold it, I go back and I start it again. So arms up, big lunge, hands down, legs up against the wall. Cool. So I found the shape, straight arms. Now I'm gonna try to bring one foot, then slowly the other one off and try to work on your balance. Straight arms. Nice. And down one and two, and up. I don't know if the camera could record that, but I hold like for, I have for about three seconds with my both feet off the wall. So that's what you're gonna try to do when you're doing this exercise. So both feet up against the wall, 
then try to take one off the wall, then the other one, and try to work with both feet off the wall, just holding your balance on your handstand. Now I need to catch my breath because I was in an upside down position. Take your time to do this, okay? You don't need to rush into it. The idea is that you build up slowly, all right? Now, last one we're gonna to try to do is a handstand here on a safety area where I can try to hold my handstand without a wall in front of me. You need to be very careful on this. If you have some cushions at home or some safety mats, you can throw that on the floor in front just in case you fall forward, okay? So that's gonna be your safety. But of course, if you can't do this, if you couldn't do that one against the wall, don't try it, okay? So I'm gonna try to do my handstand and hold, then come back, okay? My intention is not to go over and forward, my intention is to hold my handstand up, right? Legs together, arms up, remember to engage your core when you're going upside down, okay? And you're gonna do your big lunge, you're gonna put your hands down and try to hold. One, two, and three, up and down. I could manage to come back down. So that's the idea. Uh, it's really hard to get your hands tender the first time, but you're gonna be working on that, okay? After you work on your holding handstand, I'm gonna try to do that one more time. A good tip for you is try to walk on your handstand walks, but first you need to be able to hold. Because once you're able to hold your handstand, it's easier for you to manage walking forwards and backwards and going around and so on. Cool? So again, one more time. Arms up. When you're ready, big lunge. Hands down, legs up. One, two, I couldn't hold that much, but I always finish in a nice way. Okay, so guys, those are the tips I have for you. Some other things that you might want to do uh, when you practice your handstand and you get a good handstand position, your fingertips might help you to hold your balance, okay? So if you uh, want to do your handstand hold, you try to hold on your fingertips because that will help you to balance forward and backward and sideways as well. Remember to engage your core. Remember to always keep your arms straight, your hands flat. So the palm of your hand should be flat on the ground, okay? If you're going like this, I don't know if you can see that, like on your finger tips down like claws, you're gonna get hurt, so don't do that. Cool? I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you enjoyed the live session today. Leave your comments down below. Uh, if you want your name, if you want me to give a shout to you next week, just put your name down below, then next week I'm gonna do that, okay? So now, after this class, just in about like five minutes, uh, we're gonna be doing a live on Instagram, just with Q&A, and I'll be there interacting with you. Hope to see you there. I hope you enjoy it. This time I'm gonna try to finish with my handstand walk. Hopefully I won't break my camera. So let's go, arms up. Three, two, one, big lunge. Hands down and walk. Oh, no, I couldn't do it, I'll try it again. And walk, and walk, and walk, and walk. Yay! Bye bye, see you next week. See ya!